In one study that was done at Yale Medical School, they looked at elderly people, which tend to have a weakened, more weakened immune system. We call it, we use the term immunosenescence, so it's sort of like an aging of the immune system. And they, and they gave AHCC, healthy volunteers, um, AHCC, and actually showed when they looked at what their uh, what the, bio, the biomarkers in their bloods that I was just talking about, natural killer cells, dendritic cells, those types of things, they actually were able to prove that AHCC effectively supported and boosted their immune system. And yet in another study, what AHCC was found to do, and this was in healthy individuals, so it wasn't just people who with compromised immune systems, it was healthy individuals, actually raised the dendritic cells, which are the, which are the parts of the immune system that line sort of our respiratory tract, any, any area that comes into contact with the outside world. So that's especially important um, when we're talking about flu or worried about flu or colds or viruses or bacteria, anything, because again, that's one of the first lines of defense because they actively live in the nasal passages, places like that, that where we're actively coming into contact with disease every day. In other studies with AHCC, that looking specifically at natural killer cells, what it really showed was, and, and I guess I should say that natural killer cells are really the body's first, one of the body's first line of defense against diseases. So when uh, a foreign invader comes into our bodies, the white blood cells or our immune system will send out the natural killer cells. And the natural killer cells actually attach themselves to these foreign invaders. They'll plant something like a grenade, I guess you could say, in there. And then it helps them to it'll then explode and kill these things. So really, the more natural killer cells you have, it's almost like having more ammunition. So you never want to run out of that ammunition. And AHCC has been shown in many clinical research um, trials to actually raise natural killer cell activity. So that's something we really want in our bodies. We want that. We need that. We need that during cold and flu season. We need, we need that all the time. One more unique thing about AHCC that I should mention is that each year uh, the company sponsors a symposium uh, which takes place in Sapporo, Japan, which is where the product is made. And over 350 researchers are there each and every year talking about, just ex exchanging ideas, talking about the research that they've done on AHCC in that particular year. And it's just an amazing experience because you generally, you don't see that in nutritional supplement companies ever. And it's really nice that AHCC does that. That's why we have all of this research. That's why we're able, that's why I'm able to sit here so confidently and talk about AHCC on so many different levels and on so many different playing fields because not only do we know how it works, we know that it does work because of this exchange of ideas and because of how much worldwide research is being done right now.